Welcome! This screencast will help you search for open educational resources by helping you to define key terms of your search, apply advanced search options and filters, as well as offer you additional resources to help you find appropriate OER for your instructional practice. We'll be using two common websites, Google and YouTube. Before we get started, be sure to download the Searching for OER Worksheet and complete the first two items to help you develop and refine your search. You can find a link to it below or within the Resources page on the course homepage. Pause this video if you need time to download the file. All searches should start with a little brainstorming on your part to help determine exactly what type of OER you want, what subject you're looking for, and even where or when it was published to the web. After thinking about what you want to search for and filling out the first two items on the searching worksheet, let's go try out a search using Google. Open your web browser to the Google website. In the lower right corner, find the word Settings. Select the word and then choose Advanced Search. The top section of the Advanced Search page is where you will provide your key terms. In the first field, you can enter single descriptive words. These terms can appear anywhere on a web page. In the next field, enter in any phrase surrounded by quote marks. These words must appear together. You can add additional words or exclude words as well. If you need a range of numbers, you can enter the range in the next set of fields. The next section of the Advanced Search page allows you to refine and narrow your results. You can use all of them or only one or two. These hints on the right side help you understand these different options. Here you can filter by language. Need something in Spanish? You can select that option here. The next two fields let you choose pages published in a particular region or during a specific time period. You can also restrict your searches by site or domain. For example, if you only want to search government sites, enter the domain name .gov. Finding pages with appropriate reading levels is very useful for our youth and adult learners. Use reading level to display your results with all reading levels or restrict it to just one level such as basic, intermediate, or advanced. The File Type field allows you to search specifically for any of these types of files. Remember earlier when you composed your search query? File type was one consideration of the type of OER you might be looking for. But the most important section to the Advanced Search page is the Usage Rights. This field is where you can select the type of license you prefer. Once you have completed a search, be sure to carefully review the results. Does it meet the needs you identified in your original question? Do you notice any different key terms you might be able to use in a modified search? In this case, it could be words like denominators, mathematics, or fractal. And most importantly, are the resources that look most promising really licensed with an open license? Although you have selected the usage rights you want, you still need to check that the resource you found is indeed licensed as an OER and displays the appropriate Creative Commons license. On some pages, nothing is immediately evident, but don't give up. First, explore the very bottom of the page. There it is, a Creative Commons license logo. If for some reason you do not find a Creative Commons logo, look for the words Terms of Use or Copyright or even usage rights on the page. Sometimes a site will not display a Creative Commons logo, but they will state how their materials can be used in these areas. Although searching Google is a good start, YouTube may give you good results if you're looking for video demonstrations, lessons, lectures, or tutorials. To refine your search in YouTube, you will use their built-in filters. After typing in your search terms, in this case the phrase climate uncertainty, your results are listed. This search resulted in over 8,000 results. At the top of the page, you will find the Filter button. Click on this to show the list of different filters available. By selecting the Creative Commons filter, we reduce the number of results down to just over 200. 
After reviewing the list, choose a selection to review the content and make sure it fits your needs. Also, this is where you can double check that this video is licensed as Creative Commons and you are allowed to remix this video. Note that in order to remix or edit any video, you will need to have a YouTube account. YouTube has a built-in editor that is easy to use and it allows you to quickly post your remixed or revised videos to your own YouTube channel. Feel free to experiment with the YouTube filters. There are many that you may find relevant to your search. So we've looked at a few searching strategies, including defining your search and identifying key terms, using the advanced search features to help focus and narrow your search, especially through selecting the appropriate usage rights, and we spent some time verifying that the sites we wanted to use were correctly licensed. Now it's your turn. Good luck!